so leg day super pumped up for leg day which is surprising but i'm embracing every workout i like to get a big arm pump i like to get a big chest pump all that why not why not like to get a big leg pump too so and i'm recording these too so it makes me a little bit more excited holds me a little bit more accountable and i'm excited because i got this new i got a new champion t-shirt i got a black one too i like the black one better but i'm wearing the gray one it's gonna make a nice pump cover these are super super cheap compared to like a lot of other t-shirts you can get 10 bucks it's a big and tall size uh usually i'm like in an xl or a 2xl depending on the brand anyway for shirts now and oversized is kind of the style so it is a little big it's a little long i tucked it in but like the picture shows it a little long too so no matter how big you are it's going to be long plus oversized is kind of the style oversized being the style anyways and i like the oversized look of shirts so i'm fine with it you can see it's a little big but like i'm right here that's my side so you just got a little bit a little bit to fill out on the bulk probably won't get that big on the bulk but it'll probably shrink after a wash or two and it's a nice oversized shirt that I can wear as a pump cover something like that and they're super cheap so excited about that i got the shorts on i got some old nike shorts on make my butt look big so that's good for for leg day it's gonna look like i i don't skip legs because i don't but the shorts definitely help since they they fit me in a way that makes me look bigger and what am i gonna hit for legs of course i have to do something for calves um what else do i gotta do hamstrings i don't really do much for glutes but there are going to be some exercises that put a lot of uh emphasis on glutes it's kind of like a deload week and i do want to deload just because i don't want to injure myself and i think it's good not that i go crazy or lift super heavy on my legs I've been leg pressing, you know, 800, 850 around there, or 790 it was, and then I did 850 the next time. And today is just gonna be a lighter workout. I'll probably mix in like some supersets and I'll probably end with leg press instead of begin with it. That way I'll be able to do a lot less weight and have it still be very effective. So I'm gonna kinda get an idea in my head of how I wanna structure the workout and then I'm gonna go attack it. It's going to be a lighter workout and I'm going to get a bigger leg pump than normal. So that'll be exciting. And like my legs, I don't really like the way they look because they start thick and they get thinner and thinner to the knee. And of course I have the long, the long legs, small calf genetics. They say you can only add one to two inches of uh, muscle to your calf muscles. And I definitely already did that. So. I'll keep training them, but they're probably maxed out and they were tiny to begin with. So it's never going to be impressive, but I'm still going to train them hard. But like I said, I don't really like the shape of my legs or how they look, but I did measure them and they're, they're pretty close to being the same size as uh, Arnold's legs. Arnold never had the biggest legs, but you know, people never accused him of skipping leg day. I don't think so. We're getting close to having the same size legs as Arnold. In terms of proportions, besides calves and arms, I'm actually pretty close, honestly. I'm not that much smaller. Of course, I'm bulkier, but I'm also natural. But you shouldn't compare yourself to anybody, to be honest. So it's probably not a good thing. You shouldn't get caught up in that. You should just compare yourself to, to how you used to be so you can measure your progress. That's the best way to do it. And... Uh, you know, when you're listening to people for workout advice, fitness advice, I think you should be careful who you get your advice from and you should limit it. You don't want to be getting different advice from everybody. Find like a trusted source and stick to getting your workouts and learning from them. That's why that's why I think like the fitness videos and stuff like that, you see all these guys that are being looked up to the most and people are trying to take stuff from them the most. They're like these high level guys on steroids and stuff, or these guys who are claiming they don't take steroids, but they probably definitely do. And like 99.9% .9 of the people that you see posting videos and pictures of that stuff, they're, they're on something and they're lying about it. So you gotta be careful who you get your information from. And that's why I like recording these workouts 
It's because like I know that I'm 100% true, 100% natural, and I can 100% you know put out stuff that works for me, whether it works for you or not. It works for me. Anyway, so I'm gonna get that leg day in. First things first, I'm gonna start with calves. Seated calf raise machine for today. I usually just do one calf exercise per workout at this point. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm only gonna record one set, but I'm gonna do somewhere between six and eight sets. Keep it really high intensity. Try and keep it to like 20 to 30 seconds in between sets and that's it. I'm gonna try and switch in like some holds, different tempos, maybe some partial reps, stuff like that. And yeah, just whatever, whatever time it takes for me to add or subtract weight, or if I don't need to add or subtract weight, you know, 20 to 30 seconds, and then get right back to it, get that calf pump going. Got a nice calf pump. Calves are burning, calves are like shaking when I'm standing on them. But next I'm gonna get some uh, hamstrings and glutes. I'm gonna do seated hamstring curls. Uh, that's gonna be the second part of the superset. First part of the superset is going to be, what are these called? It's like a cable RDL with the rope. So you'll see what I'm talking about, but that's gonna get some hamstring, some glute, and then of course the hamstring curls get that nice hamstring pump. superset for leg day it's gonna be uh, leg extensions with leg press I'm gonna be targeting the uh, the quads more on the leg press by doing it like a closer stance closer together and not too high so that way you get a lot of a uh, quad I won't have to go as heavy so it's gonna be a big superset to finish off with hopefully a great quad bump the hamstrings feel really good and the glutes as well and the calves too so Pretty good leg day so far.
had a great leg day. I actually enjoyed it. At the end, that superset, when I was supersetting uh, leg extensions with the leg press, after that last set of leg press, my whole legs were just burning. Like they felt so huge and so pumped when I put them on the floor. It was a, it was a crazy leg pump. So enjoyed the leg pump for sure. Tomorrow's arm day, which I'm, I'm actually not that excited about doing just an arm day, but I gotta enjoy it because I'm not gonna be able to get that big of an arm pump again when I switch the split back up. It always feels like you get just a little, just that tiny bit more pump when you do a full arm day instead of uh, splitting it up and training on the same day as a different body part too. So I'm gonna, gonna embrace that, enjoy that. Enjoy the leg day. Gonna keep recording all my leg days. Falling in love with leg day a little bit more each time. So that's great. And that'll be it. <laughs>